You are with Lisa. We are going to be talking about the dreaded head lice. Um, this is just something that we all go, I hope it doesn't happen to me and my dreadlocks. Um, it hasn't actually, I haven't had head lice in my dreadlocks. I've only had dreadlocks for three months and I don't have young children around the house anymore. Um, it, it, my daughter used to get a little lot and it used to drive me crazy because you'd have to be treating everything. So if anybody has had head lice before um, in your normal hair, you will understand that it's going to be a million times harder when you have dreadlocks. So what you want to do is start using a preventative right now, today, straight away. Um, if you use shampoos in your hair, add tea tree oil. Tea tree to everything. If you use a spritzer, like a spray, just water, add tea tree. Start doing it every couple of days or even once a week, once a month, whatever you want, but just start doing it. Um, head lice hate the smell and it's an oil. They don't like the oil. Um, so because I haven't actually had head lice before in my dreads, I actually did some research for you guys. Um, People have actually gone to the point um, where obviously they have it bad enough that they have done alcohol treatments on their hair. Um, now there is rubbing alcohol that you can get where you obviously just rub it on your hair and um, you put a plastic shower cap on and you leave it there and it goes pretty dry, your hair goes very dry, you wash it out um, and you continue to do that two or three days. Um, some people have actually just gone the whole hog and, you know, bought some vodka, really expensive vodka, and doused their hair in vodka just to kill it because, um, <laughs> I guess that that's an extreme way of doing it. But like if you, if you start pre doing the preventative, number one, um, if you do feel something weird in your head, like a weird itch, you'll, you'll know um, to have a look straight away. You might catch them early enough where you can just do a vinegar, um, like an apple cider vinegar, tea tree um, soak. And uh, that works really, really well. Um, peppermint, people have um, said that Bonner's peppermint uh, bar soap is really good and peppermint is fantastic. Natural oils, make sure when you're using tea tree that you don't just go out and buy the cheapest tea tree oil that you can get. Make sure it's a pure essential oil. Um, it's going to work so much better. If you haven't caught your dreads in time and you've got somebody going through them, best thing is have somebody look through your hair and you've got lots of them and you can see um, the eggs. What you want to do is douse the tea tree straight up on um, some cotton wool and start dabbing it on your dreads. Now it's going to really, uh, it's going to be strong. <laughs> the smell, it can't be any worse than putting your head in alcohol because of the fumes, oh my god. But um, yeah, obviously you're not diluting it in water, it's going to be really, really strong, but it works really, really well and you're going to use a lot of it, so it could get a little bit expensive. But the preventative, get a spray bottle, spritzer bottle, um, put your tea tree oil in it, um, and start spraying that every couple of days or at least once a week or like I said um, buy when you get your dread soaps or shampoos or whatever a lot of them do actually have tea tree oil in them um, so just look at the ingredients on the soaps and um, conditioners shampoos that you're getting sorry um, but otherwise just put a couple of drops into your normal shampoo because lots of people just use normal shampoo on their hair um, so you can do that. It works really, really well. I just died. Um, yeah, Dread Sisters Bar Soap, that's what I use. Also, uh, another thing that I have actually read is people use mayo. You might want to like go onto YouTube and check some of this stuff out. Um, but just putting it all together, the best thing is tea tree, peppermint, um, your apple cider vinegar or any type of vinegar uh, is fantastic. Get in straight away, like start using it as a preventative, put it into your conditioners or shampoos, whatever you're using. Um, and then obviously, if worse comes to worse, alcohol. Ooh. 
All right, good luck to everybody. I hope this has helped. Please um, detail any information that you think works for you. If you've had them, um, just share. It would be absolutely brilliant. Peace. Cheers. Catch you soon.